Hey guys, it's Austin with Austin and Lee Wizard content here. I'm just gonna show you guys some stuff. I'm gonna talk about some stuff. So this is my max fire here, and I got my max balance. So what I want to explain to you guys Aha, is on the schools. So if it's like your first time ever choosing schools, look. I'm gonna explain what schools and what what they're good for and some of the bad stuff about them. Answer right. these questions yep. to find out so we got what storm storm is probably your most favorite kind of elemental school uh, they are known to do a lot of damage really fast and hit pretty hard but their problem is is the health so you may have some problems struggling when you're um, solo questing because of the health being so low but uh, once you get Stormlord and you get the right spell paths and everything, it might be a little tough on the bosses because you're going to be a lot less health than everybody else. But you're very great in the team. Everybody's going to look up to you. Uh, they're always going to want to blade you or trap. They expect you to hit. You're the big bad storm guy. You know, the big, big guy at the damage. Myth. Myth is more of like Back in the day, I would say more of like a pvp -er. Uh Myth is actually pretty dang good, believe it or not, nowadays. Especially when you get Orthrus. Uh, they're known for minions and stuff. Uh, their health is pretty much about right up there where Deaths is. It's really not that bad, depending on what gear you run. Uh, Myth is actually a pretty good school. Uh, I would say for spiritual and elemental, uh, Myth is probably equal to about death on your spiritual. Uh, so I would say, starting wise, between death, life, and myth, myth is gonna have your AOEs really early compared to death or life, uh, unless you got like spellment, like lore master type spells. Uh, myth, you're gonna use frog, uh, the little frog you guys use. Uh, that's gonna be an AOE spell. So if you choose myth, it's not gonna be as hard to quest, in my opinion. I feel like myth would be a, a good school. It's got like a good balance between like the spirits and stuff like that. So myth is going to be a good school. Uh, let's talk about life. Uh, life is very hard to solo. Um, it's not the hardest school to solo, but it is hard to solo. Uh, life is more of a support kind of person. Uh, they're going to be the one that's healing your team and everything like that so life gonna want to have you know good resist good like outgoing you're not really gonna be doing that much damage but uh, you get your aoe spell at level 48 which is forest lord uh, used to be rebirth back in the day used to be level 48 rebirth used to be seven pips and the forest lord used to be eight pips but they flip flopped them and forest lord is now seven pips so life i would not recommend if you're your first wizard I would not recommend life. Uh, life is underpowered. It's still more damage than ice, I feel like, nowadays. And between ice and life, back in the day, ice used to have the most uh, the most health. But I feel like here recently, life has actually taken the most health, believe it or not. And so once you get Force Lord on life, level 40, you're pretty much good to go, good to quest. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's just it's a it's a struggle. It's gonna be a struggle. Um, getting up to level forty eight, you're gonna start noticing that your friends who are like storm, fire, myth, they're gonna be a lot faster than you in the quest line. So be aware of life. Uh, very good. It's one of my favorite schools. It's not my top favorite, but it, it's one of my favorites when it comes to like team support. Fire, fire, in my opinion, is. I would recommend fire if it's your first time ever playing wizard I would recommend fire let me explain why fire's got higher uh, health than storm there's been times where fire has actually even had more damage than storm depending on what gear you run uh, fire is really great with uh, AOEs uh, you got the meteor you got scald scalds more like just a uh, damage over time to all you got fire dragon I mean fire dragon looks so cool and then there's some bosses in here that you actually need to have fire for like your um, I can't think of the name right now but it's the trap that uses pips and the more pips you get the more stronger the traps get it's kind of like storm supercharged but like a trap version uh, I can't think of it for some reason 
but uh, yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it. Me, personally, uh, I would choose fire if I was the first time in school. Fire's pretty good balance of everything. You got higher health in the storm. Um, they're known for high damage as well. And you're going to start finding out that it's a little bit easier to start off with fire than storm. Because storm does fizzle a lot too. That's one thing I forgot to mention storm. Storm is the worst in accuracy, so you're gonna fizzle so much storm, like really, really bad. Uh, fire, it's still got a little bit low accuracy, but it's not as bad as storm. Storm's like 70%. I believe fire is at 75. Okay, let's talk about ice. Out of the, all the elementals, ice is probably gonna be my least favorite. Um, Ice is slow. They're, they do got AoEs, which are attack all enemy spells. They're extremely slow. Uh, Frost Giant, Blizzard, they just don't do that much damage, man. I mean, Ice at like level, what, 42? It gets uh, Colossus, like the Ice Colossus. Storm's uh, Kraken does more damage than that. And it's four pips versus like five pips. I mean, Storm's Kraken just does way too much more damage compared to the Colossus. Well, it's like 100 more or 50 more, something like that. Ice is going to be your big tank guy, your big juggernaut. If you guys ever play, like, Call of Duty, anything like that. He's going to be your slow questing guy. He's going to have a lot of health. And his damage is always going to be lower than anybody else's. He's going to have the lowest damage in all the game. Gears are always filling under power. Spells like Frost Giant. Frost Giant looks cool, but it, the damage just feels way under power compared to what like Myth, Orthrus, or Storm Lord would be, or even Force Lord. So Ice is going to be probably a slow questing school too. Um, uh, that's pretty much about it. I mean, they're they got about eighty percent accuracy, so they don't fizzle as much. And that's just to start. So if you're wanting to quest with ice, it's going to be a lot slower. Um, it might be a little bit faster than lives, but not much. And now we're moving on to balance. I would recommend doing balance last. Uh, balance is going to be your hardest school to solo. Um, so you, they got the balance blades and then they got storm blades. Well, it's, excuse me, it's called blade storm. It just blades everybody 20% and then balance blades is 25 so the problem with balance is, is they do got AOEs, which is like Sandstorm, Ra, Power Nova, all that stuff. But there's no prism, so if you're balanced and you're fighting a balanced enemy, you have to use like uh, Elemental Blast or something like that, or Hydra. I mean, Hydra isn't going to do as much because it attacks like that, so it's going to hard. It's going to be hard to find an AOE that isn't balanced. Until you get to Nest. It's like Nested Fury. Um, that one is a very good balance spell. But it is Shadow. I personally don't like relying on Shadow that much. Because it just it could take a while. Balance is going to be hard. Um, some people get bored with it. That is going to be the hardest solo. There's no prisms for balance. Unless you get it from gear. Like a Merciless gear. I think it's the Malevent boots I believe. They're going to give you your balance. Uh balance prisms but that's at like what level 140 that's a long ways to go balance is more of a supporter for a team balance is best with a team kind of like life uh it's best for balance to be carried or be questing with somebody it's 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 a big pain uh their stats are high damage but the spells just don't do that much sandstorm doesn't do much uh, the blades don't even stack or add up to the percentage like Storm would. Storm is like 35% for the um, regular Storm blade. It's either 35, I think it's 35% for the elemental blades. See, with balance, you're not really going to be using Hydra that much. You're going to be using balance spells. All you got is balance blade, which does 25, and you're going to be using blade storm, which does 20. So, I mean, <laughs> that's what 35 compared to. 70 on percentage balance is rough i know a lot of people take it balance they just don't like it it's definitely hard i would recommend doing balance last if you do anything death a lot of people love death for this is a spiritual school a lot of people love death i like death too death is awesome so let me tell you about death 
death is going to be your school that is going to pretty much stay alive the longest. Uh, they got attack spells that can uh, attack all the enemies like Scarecrow and it heals you back half your damage. So if you do 2000 damage, let's say on one enemy, it will give you 1000 health back. Death can be slow at first too, don't get me wrong. Death is that school that it's slow until you get level 48, which is where you get Scarecrow. And once you get Scarecrow, you are good to go. Um, people said that Death is probably the best solo soloist. I would probably agree. I would say either Death or Fire. Fire for Elemental School. If you want to try Fire out, that's my opinion with the best, best in Elementals. Death is going to be probably your best in soloing. Just because you get your health back without having to heal everybody. So you can have a a bubble that's out that takes all the healing half off. So like if you try to heal with like life, he's like a Sator or something, it's going to be weak. But if you're death, that bubble doesn't affect you. You go through absorbs. Uh, death is a pretty good hard hitter too. Death is for, for the spiritual schools. Death is where it's going to be. Um, let's see. When you start off, you're gonna get the Dark Pixie, I believe, which is it's not that much damage, but eh, whenever you get higher level, start getting Scarecrow, or if you ever do get the Ship of Fools, Ship of Fools is like a mini Scarecrow. It's like four pips, but he uses school pips, so you might want to wait a little bit. Even if you get the spell like level one, you're still gonna want to wait for a little bit so you can get the jewels and stuff. But once you get Scarecrow on death, you can pretty much just about solo most stuff. So it's going to be a little bit of a rough ride. So if you guys want my personal order of which schools I should start first. Let's say if you want to start one, you're brand new, you want to start number one. I would say either fire or death. But fire does get meteor, which attacks all. I guess that early. Um... Death doesn't get an AoE until 48 unless you get Ship of Fools or Deer Knight, something like that. But I mean, Ship of Fools is so much better than Deer. I would say Fire would be your number one school. Then maybe Death. Then Storm. Then Myth. Then Life. Then Ice. Then balance. That would be my go-to. Or if you really, really want to, you can go fire, storm. Just keep an elemental. You can go fire, storm, then go to death, then go to myth, and go to life, ice, and balance. That's just my personal preference. Uh, it's just my opinion on this. I've been playing the game for 15 years. I got every single one of these schools. I got two maxes on each. So I definitely know that, you know, my ice has to get carried around, balance got to get carried around, and life's got to get carried around, especially if you're at the lower levels, like before level 48. So, I mean, I'm just going to show you some balance stuff. Like, when I say balance, it's going to be like your least kind of, uh, like, solo questing. I'm just going to show you some balance spells. So we got right here. See, my my balance, it's not got the most damage. It's got pretty good resist for my pet, good accuracy. It's kind of good damage. So much. And it's got a lot of health too. So it's got like, sometimes they can do like storm damage with the stats, like storm damage with like the ice kind of health and like good resist too. That's one thing. So like balance, this is typically what I kind of use the balance. Um, that was like a boss battle or something, I believe. That came from like a spellment pack. That is balanced. Don't worry about it. You're pretty much not gonna be able to get it anymore. I think they quit doing it. Get your shields. They're good for tank shields. Like I'm saying, they're good for resist too. Um, that works on anybody for like team support. Weakness is also good for taking damage off the team or yourself. Balance blade 25. That is gonna be your main blade to get damage up. That can make people fizzle. Uh, Something that might be good in PvP. Hex works with faint. They got some good traps too. Here, that's that. Skill of Destiny. I don't like using these spells. Like it's just, I just don't really care to use a hybrid where it's like ice pips and life pips. I just don't really care about that stuff that much. I just personally rather keep it classic. 
Then we got Spirit Traps, which if you're death, you can still learn it. Just balance is free. Donate pips. So you cost one pip. You can donate pips. You can give yourself an extra pip. Uh, you got Elemental Traps, which you learn spiritual and elemental. So whoever team you're with, you can help Blade Storm. That's going to blade all your friends with 20% right there. It's going to blade them all. Get your Pierce Spears 2020. These are going to be maybe for a team on like a hard boss that's got plenty of shields. Judgment, that's gonna 100 damage per pip, which does, Judgment is pretty good. Judgment is like back in the day, like your main balance spell. Elemental Blades, or like Storm Fires, nice. Or Hydra. Uh, you got the Death, Myth, Life Blades, which could also be used for Chimera, which is the spirit version of Hydra, but uses more pips. I uh, got Balance of Power, it gives you 25 balance damage. Back in the day, they didn't have this. They had uh, it was like a pip chance one that might have changed it. I'm not seeing it anymore. It was like four pips, I think. Yeah, they changed it. But it used to be like called power play, and it used to just make you get gold pips more often. This is Scorpion. Uh, I got Scorpion on a different uh, a different spellman. It used to be like 150 to 200, but it swaps the shield, so it just swaps them over. Um, I use it for PvP. It used to be something else, but I think it was like still a shield, but they uh, changed the spellment. Spiritual, this is your lower master spell. I don't really use it that much, but this kind of is like a spirit blast, which is basically elemental blast. Lower master, this was like balances PvP type like spell right here back in the day. This is what balanced people in PvP, those old commanders and warlords, would you, they would just spam you with this. And let's see here. Supernova. Supernova is a really good PvP spell too. It just blows up an aura. It just does deals 405 damage. That was very good PvP. Uh, these are just PvP or shambles. Savage Paul, another Lord Master spell. Does 500 damage. You get a 25% blade. That was pretty good for PvP for like breaking a shield or something as well. Minions. See, Balance has got a good share of minions. Uh, spectral minion. You, got, you can either get an Ice, Storm, or Fire minion. Storm's gonna look just like the Storm minion spell. Fire's gonna look like the little fire guy from Krakatopia, a little fire elemental. Ice is just gonna look like, I think it's like the Ice Colossus, I believe, from Spectro Minion. Mander Minion. Mander Minion is one of my favorite little minions. It's Balance. He, I think he sandstorms. I could be wrong. I know he blades you, and I know he shields you. Locust Swarm. That's gonna be your basic, just three pip spell. Uh, just swap with traps, so pushes trap over. That was a Spellment PvP version 2 back in the day. Helping Hands. Uh, Helping Hands is good for healing the team. That's a balanced spell too, so they got a little bit of each so that you can heal your teammates with. Reshuffle. Reshuffle is good when you run out of cards. You got Reshuffle, Sandworm, Extra Shadow spell. That could be a single hit or attack all. You can target which ones you wanted to hit. Sandstorm. See, Sandstorm is 4 pips. And it is under damage a little bit. It's a little bit low damage right there. Deer hit. That's a newer balance spell they made everybody get. Uh, I got mine a spell mental version. So if somebody's healing or something or a damage over time that's on you, um, you hit them and the damage over time will go to them. Iron curse. That's another newer balance spell. Uh, it attacks all. It does 55 damage to all. And it just does 300 damage over over three rounds. Failing hands, that's gonna be your bigger hill. So you can heal your team. Elemental Golem, just like all schools got their own. That just hits and gives you three shields, 50% shield against storm, fire, and ice. It's actually kinda nice, really. Got that for your Pierce Bubble, every school's got it. Then you got your diffuses, which is also good. Mana Burn, Mana Burn's a good, really, really good PvP balance spell as well. Let's say you're facing somebody and they got a bunch of pips. Use this, and uh, every pip they got does 50 damage, and it destroys three pips. So it does a lot. It'll hurt them pretty good, and it takes the pips away. Gaze of Fate. Uh, that's going to be... I call... If you ever watch Monsters Inc., the guy kind of reminds me of it, like the Mike Wazowski guy. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. Uh, he hits twice and gives you a balanced damage bubble, but it, it's, it's kind of weak. It is like three feet, that's like 700 damage in the bubble. It's kind of weak, but it gives you a bubble, which is good. It gives you the damage one. Spectral Blast, okay. 
So mine's got spell Vincent version where there's 160 extra damage if the target has shield or traps. I mean, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Shield or blades, my bad. And there's your level 70 minion spell. You're not really gonna use that. By level 70, you're good. Old ones in game. Looks like you do shadow pips, balance stuff. You need two of them. Nested Fury, that's gonna be your like best AoE as balance. Nested Fury hits very hard. You never know which one is gonna hit. 805, 970, or 1050. It can hit elementals. Mock and Spile, they used to. Um, well, they changed it, but it used to be pretty good in PvP. They ran them either plus 25% blade or weakness on you. Or either weakness on you or weakness on them. I don't know. They changed, they changed it all up. That used to be a very good PvP spell, too. Obsidian Colossus is going to be your newer balance spell. Uh, those damage. Got, what's that, a weakness on? Two weaknesses. That's probably good in PvP. Hydra. Hydra was pretty good PvP too. I had a spell Vincent version, but it seems like it they might have took it out or something. It used to do like an extra thousand. No. It used to do extra damage on the fire head if the enemy had a shield. Got Power Nova, which they changed Power Nova. Power Nova used to give you weaknesses to everybody, but they changed it now, so not anymore. King Artorius. It's good for PvP, minus 45. Ra, I mean Ra used to be seven pips, I think, back in the day. I could be wrong, something like that. But it gives you uh, minus forty weakness to all. It didn't used to give you that. So that's what meant to get your gambits. There's Chimera. I don't really like Chimera. It's weak for the pips. It takes too many pips and doesn't do that much damage. Saber Tooth. Now Saber Tooth is a pretty good balance spell. So what it does is it hits pretty hard. And it gives you three, uh, it gives you elemental and spiritual uh, shields for 50. Then you got your Niles. That's pretty much it. Uh, my pet is not the best balanced pet. That's just, it's got the double resist, double damage, and it's got pierce, and also it's got mighty too for the extra resist. So, I mean, it's not bad. It was for PvP back in the day. So that's it for balance. That's like one of the worst. Um, let me show you fire real quick. I'm just gonna show you why why fire is pretty good. Now my fire's got pretty good stats, I believe. His resist maybe a little bit low, but the damage is high. I know I know you guys like on fire. I got this cool looking mount. Matches my outfit. So it's my fire. You got 195 damage, 35 is very low. But uh, I mean I got 53 pierce. That's a lot of pierce. <laughs> I need to get my power pips down. I'll change it for something else. So my pip, my spell I got on here, I got that. It kind of failed, but it's all right. I don't have the mount to give it the extra bonus, but it's frill stuff. And there's some like other ones give stun resist that messed up. <laughs> uh, let me see. So, all right, fire spells. You can see I'm max and I'm still using Meteor because it, it still does pretty good. So fire. Hatch Blade, Fire Cat. Make people um, fizzle. That used to be pretty good in PvP too. Back in the day when you can actually use the TC version. Uh, we would uh, spam smoke screen. We'd have like two fires and like a storm. and No, we had three fires and a storm. One fire would spam smoke screen while the other person would spam the TC version and they just automatically would fizzle like every single time while the storm builds up for Stormlord. Hackhound, uh, got your fire elves. I don't know if that attacks all anymore because I had it spell it, but they could change everything. So, right at the bat, right at the bat, you got a minion, uh, you got a Male. Which they changed that too. It used to like kill me back or something, but they keep constantly changing it. So that's like it clears traps, which is pretty good. Meteor Strike, that's gonna be your like questing. Like I said, if you get choose fire for your first time, Meteor's gonna be your main good spell. Um, fire from above. It used to be one big hit spell, but it's just damage over time. I hate it when they did that. It really messed up fire when they made that whole spell of damage over time. I don't like it. Phoenix, got my spell stuff. 
skull that's gonna get attack all, but it's like a kind of like a fire elf without like the initial first damage. You you're not really gonna use skull that much. You're gonna be using more like fire dragon or meteor. Um, get the marshmallow guy, shadow spell. He's pretty good. PVP and stuff. You got elephant, which I changed mine, which clears three of my shields and does like a damage over time as well. Inferno Salamander, that's gotta be a newer fire spell. Um, that one used to be a good PvP spell too. It hits pretty hard. And Raging Bull, that's gotta be one of the most one of the coolest looking fire spells. Um, they did change it. They used to give like uh, I think it was 20% or 30% something like that, and it, like a uh, accuracy debuff, so it makes you like fizzle a lot more to all but it's attack all spell they don't know it's got detonate so it's like a fire elf and then use it all damage got that guy this damage infernal oni that's got to be your oni to use what is it four damage or if target has two healing so see the bad thing about fire is nobody really has healing over time this is like life right so nobody's really gonna have that especially two of them plus fire needs a little bit of a rework in my opinion this one the targets got two damage, throw two fire elves on them, and just hit them with the burning. Fire dragon, this is gonna be your main, main number one fire spell. Once you get fire dragon, you are good for like ever. Efri, Efri used to be so much better. He used to give you a uh, uh, minus 90 weakness on you, but he don't just gives a 45 now. King Artorias, that's a pretty good PvP spell. It hits hard. Stuns and gives you a uh, the pierce. I've never used this gen before in PvP. It looks like it breaks or let's see, gambit for traps for 2,000. Okay, so let's say if you put four traps on an enemy, right? Let's say you got like two elemental traps. So you use your fire and then it uses the extra four, the extra two ice and the extra two storm for the elemental trap, and it does 2,000 instead of 320, which that, that would actually hurt. That gen's probably your number one. Rain of Fire. Rain of Fire. I never really cared for it. It looks cool, but I just never really used it. It's just too many pips. Uh, way too many pips for the uh, damage. Just kind of weak. Then you got Sun Serpent. Whenever you get like Azteca, I don't never really use it that much. So it just hits somebody really hard and then it attacks everybody at uh, 330. So that's just your typical fi fire spells. Uh, I forgot to mention Backdraft. It's going to be your uh, that trap spell I was talking about. Pips. It's called Backdraft. Uh, I don't know if I can find it here or not. I might not have it on this fire. I could be wrong. Unless I'm just not paying attention, really. Yeah, this guy doesn't got backdraft. I gotta get backdraft on him. I didn't do Grizzlyheim on him. <laughs> you gotta get those spells to Grizzlyheim just a little bit. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching this video. Please click that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next adventure.